The Indestructible Hulk series introduces a new stage of the character's life. Dr. Bruce Banner forms an alliance with the spy organization S.H.I.E.L.D. to facilitate his new resolution. He wants to be known and remembered for scientific contributions to society, not just the destruction that the Hulk leaves in his path. Since the Incredible Hulk's creation, the character has served as a profound illustration of man's dichotomy. Audiences relate to the stories of a beast within, the unbridled side of us that we can no more tolerate than ignore. The Hulk taps into the same archetype as Jekyll and Hyde, or the Wolfman. The difference is the Hulk can also be a hero. The Indestructible Hulk run strengthens that difference by harmonizing the purpose of Banner's two sides, if not their natures. The stories serve as an inspiration for how to rein in and embrace our own less conscionable natures. Individually, Dr. Banner and the Hulk seem limitless in capability. In Indestructible Hulk, Banner's scientific knowledge rivals that of Iron Man, and possibly Mr. Fantastic. As for the Hulk, his strength, which increases with his anger, is described as incalculable by one of his villains. But both monster and scientist are bound together. The Hulk's adventures, heroic or otherwise, must end each time he fades to Banner. And Banner's endeavors are taxed with the time, energy, and consequences of each Hulked-out episode. The character's conflict is a picture of our own struggle in life. We're not all brilliant scientists. We don't physically morph into monsters when agitated either. But each day we have great potential to make a positive difference for ourselves and others. Like Dr. Banner, our potential is often thwarted by emotions we would rather keep hidden, like rage, shame, or despair. We can spend so much time battling our darkness that we miss taking advantage of our positive abilities. Dr. Banner and the Incredible Hulk show us how to overcome that divide by working both sides in tandem. Dr. Banner has always understood the connection between his two natures. Though Hulk reacts into the extreme, the Jade Giant emerges as a response to Banner's own anger and stress. Banner's first step, then, is acceptance. In the opening scene, he explains to S.H.I.E.L.D. director Mariah Hill that ever since his accident, he's devoted all of his Banner time to finding a cure to eliminating the Hulk. He's finally come to realize, though, that the Hulk is indestructible. When he could have been making a difference as Banner, he wasted time trying to fight his other side. He states that even his Banner time has been Hulk time. Acceptance is the first step to becoming a whole person. Banner is a super scientist. He's also a gamma radiation monster. By accepting his dual identity, he can seek out a place that will help him use both halves for a single purpose. Denying our shadow selves can stunt our growth and maturity, keeping us from finding purpose in life. Banner will go farther by accepting the Hulk than denying him, but also farther than he could have gone without the Hulk in the first place. One example is this arrangement with S.H.I.E.L.D. The agency provides Banner with the highest level facility and resources. In return, he allows them to send the Hulk on missions. On some of those missions, Banner gains knowledge and more resources for his work that he never could have acquired otherwise. One such assignment is the mining expedition to Jotunheim, the realm of the Frost Giants. Without the Hulk, none of the team would have survived and could never have returned with the Uru medal for which they searched. The mission also reveals an important step in Banner and the Hulk's consolidation of purpose. When Banner first proposed the alliance to Director Hill, he described the Hulk as a cannon they could only aim in the right direction. In each succeeding issue, the Hulk appears more focused on the mission's goal. Shield agents are careful to stay out of his way, but he attacks only the enemy and enemy property. On the Jotunheim mission, he even saves the terminally ill biologist on his team from falling to her death. You live, Hulk tells her, before leaping back into battle with the Frost Giants. We later find out Banner knows of her suicidal tendencies, and the Hulk was acting on Banner's desire to save her. Hulk fans have no trouble thinking of the Green Behemoth as a hero. 
but Banner sharing that opinion is a major step forward in his personal development. As a result, more people benefit from the wholeness of his personality, the heroics of Hulk, and the science of Banner. The same is true for us when we accept our whole selves. Repressing certain emotions requires energy and leaves issues unresolved. Unproductive emotions like rage and shame stem from a failure to feel and process their lesser incarnations. Anger and guilt can lead to creativity and positive change, but only if we allow ourselves to feel them. Like Dr. Banner and the Hulk, we can harness the totality of our emotions and desires to work toward our goals as well as reach more people with our gifts.